Hello guys, it's JK GFX Studio. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial for After Effects Trap Code Shine and how to use it on Call of Duty clips and pretty much anything else. So let's get started. First, you're gonna go and you're gonna import your recent clip or whatever clip or video footage you want this is just call of duty clip that i have right here as you see it's nothing great there's a triple capture kill no scope but it's really not that good let's find the one spot i want to use let's go there so what you're going to do is you're going to go effect trap code shine so you're going to see it's all blown out here so what you're going to do is you're going to transfer mode add and that's going to fix your issue uh, for that so see you have that right there and this is really what I'm going to be focusing on just because it is the easiest thing to pick out and then I'll probably go over how to adjust it for your sky that some of you may want to use or other things I'm not really sure what else but Call of Duty clips is the most common use for this so that's what I'll be going over but this does apply to pretty much anything so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your shine opacity you're gonna adjust it and either you're gonna have some short rays which I find are a boom and they make it stand out like this is here it is this is what I want you to look at if it it's coming off one thing or if it's coming off of everything I like to go you uh, 7.1 uh, is what I find nice but you could also go a uh, 7.0 there's not really that much difference but I just find the 7.1 is a lot nicer so then you can do source opacity or you change it I like to do that but before we get into anything too hard, let's get in our curves color correction and correct it so that way it's always a good thing. Color correction is literally going to be your best friend. And the reason I brought in color correction is because of what we're doing next, colorize. So pretty much you have colorize here right at the top. You can choose none, one color. 3 color gradient, 5 color gradient, or you can choose any of these things down below as like a separate option. But personally, I like to stick with the 3 or the 5 color gradient. And like we're going to go adjust that a little into the blue. And we're going to take the, sorry that was our highlights, we put that. Actually let's go blue blue. And let's go our mid lights down into there. Do that. Um, we'll go for this off color up there. Our mids there. I like that blues there. Or grays or whatever it is. Not really sure. Oh, let's go on the darker side of the red. Um, a bit more faded out there and sorry that's good color eyes luminance I find really doesn't make that much of a difference or anything alpha you don't want to use alpha edges just makes it too dark red makes it red green makes it green and blue well it doesn't really make it blue at least not in my opinion it doesn't. I think red's the only one that's prominent. So we're going to go with that one for the purposes of this video. So let's go to shine opacity. And we've already adjusted it. But I don't like this. I want to go with a 75.6. Actually, sorry. I meant 85.6. Make it a bit brighter. And this source opacity, let's actually bring that down to a 90. And let's go into boost light. So pretty much what you can do is you can blare it out. 
and pop it out like that, which I find to be overkill. But for something like this, I would personally go somewhere along the lines of about a 0 0.9. You can go with, or actually what I have here is 0 0.8811. But my actual preset that I use personally for this when I'm editing for people is point eight nine two one. It's not much of a difference, you don't really notice it, but that's just what I have. And I tweaked it like the finest little bit to get my exact setting. So we've gone over the shine opacity, source opacity, color eyes. Boost light. We've not gone over shimmer. But let's get into that now. I really don't use it. I don't see a purpose for it. Like detail. Let's just put this to five. See, you don't notice a difference. And it, but let's put it back up to ten in case it does something I'm unaware of. Let's put that to a five. Let's say. Yeah, an amount does nothing. We'll keep that. So let's go up to pre-process, and thing is we can use a mask, like right here, and go like that, and say we just want to go like that, go like that, let's delete that mask, undo clear layers. And let's just keep that. So we have our mask there pretty much. And you can not really do that much I find. But if we come down and select clip. Go M mask. Mask path. Shape. Rectangle. We can go reset to eclipse. Which is something I personally like. Especially for this. So. Let's go add to render queue. So you're going to have. Best settings as your selected render settings. Unless you have custom. I'm just using best render settings for this. So that way everyone will get the same. Sort of. Pop out. Let's render it through. This. It's really dumb. Actually. Let's not go for that. Delete that. Pretty much get rid of the mask. So I showed you how to do the mask now. To single out one part if you just want to do a clips of shine. And now let's go out into this area here. Where I'm like that. And you see how it has that? And it has the rays here. What you can actually do is you can do that control D to duplicate it then you can go up here you can mask that or er, sorry I guess it really wouldn't be that you would actually mask out this bottom section right here or you could mask out this section right in here and in the mask what you can do is you can take shine and you pop and get rid of it so what you're actually getting when you go up to this you select both of them layer pre-compose pre-comp one this is what you're actually going to get and what you can do is you can feather it off and that pretty much gives it what you want you can feather it off you can key it and different things if you guys enjoyed and like to see more tutorials and more in-depth tutorials please leave a like comment if you have any questions and subscribe so you can see my future tutorials